you doing today guys? Sorry we've been a bit quiet. Um, I don't know. They had a bit on really. Yeah, we've been busy. But a lot of work stuff. Zach's been away with a lot of work. Yeah, I've been away for a month. So um, this, this is really first, as long as I've been home in a month. So yeah, we decided to fill in our day today with moving a heap of cars. So you yeah. do know we've got a lot together. I've also got a lot of my own. So now so Tom's got a farm. We're starting to Condense. Bring, bring, condense. Condense. Bring the collection together. Yeah. So we moved three today. The other only three that roll. <laughs> um, the other two are backyard build projects that don't actually roll. The three that roll are Thomas's. So yeah. Yeah. obviously he makes good solo purchasing decisions. Yeah. I don't Questionable. Know. Questionable. I don't know. <laughs> the Monaro did roll until we just pushed it off the trailer. So yeah. Now it doesn't. Now it dropped a lower ball joint. But that's. That's another story, I suppose. We'll put that in at the end. <laughs> yeah. um, um, we will be back. Uh, what held us up on the ute is we have been waiting for parts. We did order a heap of parts from a well-known Australian supplier for Valiant stuff. And half it came, half it were wrong. I don't need to mention any names. Those of you in the Valiant community would know who we purchased off if yeah. we got our shit and it was all wrong. Yeah. But um, And they won't answer their phone now, so yeah. <laughs> surprise. Um, we have been working on the front disc brake conversion. We're we're pretty well got that sorted now. Um, that'll be in our next episode of Backyard Builds. Yeah, I've cut all the plates and stuff, so we'll put that together and yep. and get it get it there. Yeah, um, you'll see us put all that together, and then you'll see us put it in the ute. Ute will be rolling again, and then we'll start buttoning up some of the stuff that we've sort of left unfinished. So yeah, we'll finish off all the probably be a couple of little shitty episodes of like finishing tubs up and finishing floor pan up and mountain seat and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, a bit more welding, like we've got a lot of welding to do, so with that intake manifold. Yeah. Floor pans, like Zach said, tubs, so there's plenty more to do. We're getting it to the point where we're ready to take it to Chrysler's on the Murray in October, I think it is. Yep. We're going to try and have it as a rolling car, obviously it's still not running. We're almost at the point where we can think we can send the motor off to get built. Yeah. Um, but for now, that, that'll probably wait till after Chrysler's on the Murray, so we can at least display it a little bit. Yeah. Um, what's next? Your wagon's getting better. Yep. We're about to do fuel lines and brake lines in that. Yeah, I really need to button up that tunnel before anything else. Um, yeah. The front seat's already gone for trim. The rear seat needs to come out and it'll go for trim. Um, the upholsterer's not hounded me, but he's ready to put carpet and a hood lining in it. Yeah, so that's that's still going on. Uh, my HG ute's nearly ready for reg. I'm just going to do rear shackle bushes in that, which will probably be done hopefully by the time this airs, if I pull my finger out of my ass. <laughs> um, and we might be cruising that around a little bit. The truck, the motor's mounted, um, cab's mounted. I made cab mounts yesterday actually. Yeah. And uh, we've already started to get the geometry for the front end dialed in. Yeah. So about ready to hang the front sheet metal and get that sorted. And make sure my track width's right and happy days. But yeah, things have been going on in the background. Um, we do share one camera between us and yeah. I've been away so and I haven't done anything <laughs> not much has happened but yeah but now we've been into it today so um, there'll be more coming stick with us guys stick with us still got sticker packs available if anyone wants one yep hit us up we are we are talking about maybe doing a run of shirts and maybe run jumpers because we are coming into winter but so we will let you know on those yeah express some interest you know message us guys see we just want to get a gauge of numbers the more people that want them the cheaper they are less people from the more expensive they are but we'll try and work out the best deal possible for everyone so yep let us know and uh we'll see you next time on backyard builds thanks for watching like follow and subscribe for us on all the surf things yeah social it, media it things. helps us <laughs> it, it really does we don't get paid we don't get paid costs a lot of money to build cars i thought we got paid to do this no it's no. free <laughs>